G'day Starlow here. I just wanted to share a quick tip with you from my latest bass fishing trip to Glenbourne Dam in the Hunter Valley of New South Wales. The dam's been quite low for some time now, but thanks to recent rains and strong inflows, it's rising nicely and flooding into the shoreline vegetation. There's also quite a bit of debris and leaf litter washing in, and this tends to build up along the shorelines facing the prevailing winds. This strip of debris provides cover for both small fry and hunting bass, especially where it really piles up in some of the bays, often forming a distinct edge line. Don't ignore this temporary structure. Get in there and work those edges, even punching your lures through the scum to fish the shadowed water underneath it. On this day I was using a little chatterbait with a soft plastic trailer. Skirted jigs are good too. You want something that will punch through the scum, not sit on top. Expect to get hit on your first few cranks. And be ready to really muscle these powerful fish, as there's often some gnarly sticks in under there. I'm using medium light spinning gear here, a 2500 Shimano Twin Power on one of the new T-curve spin sticks. I'm spooled with 10 pound Power Pro and running a rod length or so of 10 pound Osea Leader. These fish give a really good account of themselves and I probably should have gone for the landing net on this one rather than dead lifting it. But all's well that ends well. <laughs> Another nice 40 centimetre bass. They're still a bit lean at the moment following the drought, and this one's got a lumpier head than mine, but it's still a great fish. And I caught quite a few more doing exactly the same thing, as well as a few ring-ins. So don't ignore that wind-blown scum line, and also don't drive past Aberdeen Fishing and Outdoors on the highway in Aberdeen without calling in for a chat with Nick. He'll definitely point you in the right direction. Until next time, this is Starlow wishing you tight lines.